just to update you I think uh, I was last in Tulsa getting unloaded there and uh, they sent me to Fort Smith as expected just got here about 15 minutes ago it's about uh, 7 30 p.m. and I signed in to notify them that I have arrived and I'm number 18 in the loading order <laughs> so I just called to check on you know how this is gonna work because being 18 18th in the load order would normally take several hours you know so are we looking at uh, you know midnight 2 a.m. and the guy just said uh, well I'll be here until we get all the loads done <laughs> so I don't know what uh, what this might mean you know we just supposed to wait around for hours and hours um, I mean I've only got let's see I've got uh, I've got under three hours of work time left <sighs> well anyway I guess we'll see what happens good morning everybody Tuesday morning uh, about to hit the road gonna do my inspection hit the road but I wanted to show you the load man it you know I think yesterday I told you I was like 18th in line here are those gunshots somebody must be hunting or <laughs> I don't I think it's gunshots but anyway um, yeah it took a while you know I was 18th in line when I got here yesterday late afternoon early evening and man I think I finally got loaded you know it was after 11 p.m. and by the time I got secured and everything I mean it was it was almost midnight so uh, anyway getting a later start than I like to but got it gotta have some sleep but anyway it's your typical simple steel bar load I got four bundles of 25 foot bar so it's got your belly wrap on the front and the end and then four chains over the top typical Fort Smith load and it does not have to be tarp, so that's that's nice. Still a lot of people here this morning. Um, you know, the place was busy. There was lots of guys here getting loaded way up into the evening, so uh, busy night. Got over center binders on each chain. So Anyway, I'm going to do my inspection, make some coffee, and uh, hit the road. Where I'm going is about, uh, you know, Jackson, Michigan is about 15 and a half hours from here. So, uh, won't get there today. There goes the truck, I guess, to get loaded. He's empty. So, you ever wonder how they haul trailers? There it is. They just stack them on top of each other, put some couple straps over. All right, I'm gonna hit the road, folks. Hello, everybody. Hey, I just stopped for a second to do a load check. I'm in uh, Missouri, and I just wanted to show you what's happening. It's snowing pretty hard. It's been snowing for a couple of hours. Luckily, it's not uh, cold enough to cause any trouble right now, but there we go. Snow in April. All right, let me do a load check and get back on the road. Oh, all right, guys. I stopped here at the Madison, Illinois Maverick Yard. I had to take a 30-minute break anyway. You know, um, 
you can only drive eight hours before you have to take a 30 minute break. Then after you do that, you get three more hours back on your clock for a total of 11 hours. So uh, my clock just reset. I've got three hours and 40 minutes now. So I'm gonna get on down the road. It's still snowing pretty hard as you can see. But uh, this is the Madison, one side of the Madison, Illinois yard. That building right there is the office area and driver lounge. They got about five showers and a free laundry in there. That's the shop over there. And then back behind me is the uh, truck wash and, you know, an equipment area. But um, if you're really interested in that, I did a video a few weeks back on that if you want to see a little more. But uh, anyway, going to do a quick load check and make a fresh cup of coffee and back on the road. All right, everybody, she has called me back and told me to come on in. I've got my four chains off. All that's left on the load is my two belly wraps. And I'm gonna creep around here to the scale house. The inbound and the outbound trucks all go through the same scale. They're probably on lunch break in there because those two Maverick trucks that I mentioned earlier are both inside and in the unload position and I haven't seen anything going on for the 20 or 25 minutes I've been out here but hopefully that's about over so the way this works is you pull up here to the gate and you should be able to see here in a minute there's a big uh, kind of a traffic light up on the front of this building that says inbound scales and if the light is green that means you have permission to come in if it's red you gotta wait because like I said she has inbound and outbound coming through the same spot so basically you have to drive in here get on the scale hop out go in and uh, see the shipping receiving clerk her name is Cheryl and uh, she'll look you up in the system give you a loading document and then tell you which spot to go to to wait for unloading it's pretty simple I'm going to park it right here and go in and talk to Cheryl. All right, everybody. I have taken my shipping documents into Miss Cheryl, checked in. And there's basically four unloading spots here. As I pull out of the scale house, you can see two Maverick trucks to the left. And then there's another unloading area here on the right. There's one truck there waiting to get loaded, apparently. And then I'm going to get the other spot. So, uh, just wanted to show that to you. And I 
will mention once again this place is very strict about the PPE and you can't be on your trailer at all unless you you notice these cables hanging down here on the loading frame uh, if you have to get up on your trailer you have to uh, tell Cheryl when you check in and put on one of their safety harness jackets and then hook up to this cable to get up on your trailer so the trick is whenever you're getting these loads from wherever like this one came from Fort Smith you want to try to hook up your over center binders where you can take them off from the side without having to get on to the trailer that's the key that way you can take them off out there in the lot without having to get on your trailer so there you go all right i'm in position i'm gonna go take off my two belly wraps and wait for the unloader all right guys uh i'm still waiting here to get unloaded but i wanted to show you here this guy next to me is picking up a load i've never picked up a load here but he's getting loaded and he's having to put the blocks on the uh in between the bundles so he's got to get up on the trailer and has to wear the uh yep. safety harness so uh thought i'd give you a shot of that actually uh the safety harness in use kind of a pain in the rear but i guess that's how they do it here you know when you load at gerdau in uh, fort smith they put the blocks up there you know they've got those little poles and they put the blocks up there as they load it but here uh, i guess they make you get up there and uh, do it for them anyway wanted to give you a shot of that all right guys see he's about to unload my my bars hopefully the wind noise is not too bad you'll probably get two bundles at a time See how the metal strap broke off of one of the bundles. Hear the airbags uh, releasing. I'm trying to stay behind the truck here to uh, cut down on the wind noise. So he's just sitting those bundle bundles over there in a little staging area, and he'll come back and get the last two. And that'll be it. All I gotta do is take my five uh, timbers and stick them back under the trailer and uh, drive back through the outbound scale. Go in and see Cheryl. Get my signed paperwork. That'll be that. Then I'll probably have to wait out in the parking lot to see where I go next. That's it. All right, let me get these timbers put up. <laughs> 